Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I am continuing on with a tag. Uh, the lovely Amaya Lynx tagged me in this video, so thank you so much Amaya for tagging me. This tag video was started by Je Suis Lou and it is a tag that is asking for five, uh, yeah, it's five luxury items that, um, it's, keeping only one luxury item from five categories, okay? So um, it's for Christmas Eve. I'm filming this on Christmas Eve, but I have another video that's going out live today. So I'll post this, I'll push this live some other time, but uh, we'll get started. So there are five categories. There is, uh, just watching on screen right now. So number one is jewelry, then shoes, uh, travel, SLG, which is small other good, and handbag. So it's actually quite hard to pick <laughs> an item from these categories but then I thought about it and what I really love and what I really enjoy and if I only had those items that I would be satisfied uh, with these items and uh, that they fulfill different purposes for me okay they're multi-purpose and multifunctional and can get me through various different types of events so uh, when it comes to jewelry okay so jewelry hands down I mean, I'm Indian, so we're really big into jewelry and gold, and I haven't invested into luxury jewelry brands like Cartier or um, Van Cleef and Arpels, but, uh, you know, because I, I mean, we, we know our gold, okay, so I don't really, <laughs> but anyway. So for jewelry, I'm gonna echo what Amaya said. If it's just jewelry, then it would hands down be my wedding set. This is not a luxury uh, piece per se, like it's not from a luxury brand, but it is a luxury item and this is something that I cannot live without. I love it so much. It's something that I did not pick out myself. Um, my husband picked it out and he surprised me with it. This is not a design that I would have picked for myself. I have always loved the simple band with the Tiffany diamond setting or something along those lines. This is very out there and it wasn't me at the time, but I think I've kind of grown into it, okay? I love this ring so much. Um, I don't know. I don't know who I'd pass this down to. I really don't know, but <laughs> take it with me to the grave. No, but I, I really love this. But if we're talking luxury jewelry, it would be my costume jewelry and it would be these um, CC dangle earrings. I love these earrings so much. I have a, a large collection of earrings, but this is one of the ones that I would prefer out of all of them. They're dainty, delicate, I can wear them all day if I wanted to. They're great for special events. They're very comfortable to wear and they're very high in demand. Um, I just love these so much. The next item is a pair of shoes. So that's also a very tough decision and there's many different categories in shoes as well. So there's boots, there's heels, there are casual shoes, there are sneakers. So I have shoes in all categories and it's hard for me to pick one. But if I look at my lifestyle, practically speaking, for luxury shoes, it would have to be loafers, okay? Um, I love these particular loafers. I have lo loafers from other brands. The reason why I picked this is because it's a very neutral color and very, very comfortable. You can wear this with dresses. You can wear this when it's cold out. Um, you can wear this in the summertime as well with a silk hat. I, hands down, love these. These are by Hermes and um, very, very nice. But if I'm expected to pick a fancy shoe, then it would be the Manolo Blahnik Kangisi pumps. These are in black velvet, so they're a very, very lovely texture, very saturated color, that silver sparkle uh, buckle. These I picked because these are the most comfortable heels I own. Um, I have low tolerance for uncomfortable heels. These are the 70 millimeter height. I highly recommend these shoes. These are so, so comfortable. I can walk in these like all day, literally. No kidding, I'm not exaggerating. These are very comfortable. So it would be these or the loafers. The third category is travel. And for travel, I would pick my Chanel wallet on chain. So I think me and Amaya are have something in common here. The wallet on chain is hands down the best travel accessory because I use this on as a crossbody. I put like everything in there that I need access to, so passports, cash, boarding pass, everything, my cards, and then I also will use this on the trip because it doubles as a clutch, as a nice crossbody bag when I'm traveling. I have everything on my person and it goes from day to evening really easily, so 
um, yes, this would be my travel accessory. The fourth category would be a SLG or small other good, and it would be hands down my Chanel uh, key holder. So I love this because it looks like a little classic flap. There is a card hold, like a slot on the back, so you can put your one of your cards there. And then when you open it up, it has rings for your keys. And then there's a little slot on this side where you can slide another card. But I use this and this little pocket here to just kind of hold down cash. So I put down like a $10 bill and a $20 bill, so that goes along the back. And then I have my keys on top, so I can just take this and go. Um, I really, really love this piece. It's hard to come by, and I'm so happy that I found it. But it's so handy to have your keys in there because your keys don't muck up your, your bag, and this holds a ton. I did do a video on the top five luxury items under $555, and in there I did include the Louis Vuitton six ring uh, key holder, which I did do for my giveaway. The reason why I picked that is because I genuinely love that piece. I don't own that piece myself because I already have a key holder and I have another one from another brand so I didn't really need to keep one but if I was to buy another one over again I would choose that one. Uh, but I also identified uh, ones from um, Saint Laurent and they have some great ones with zippers and all that so if you want to go check that video out go check it out uh, because there are um, links. There are uh, there are alternative key holders as well that I think are just as good, if not better, but I'm just picking stuff from my own collection, okay? So this would be my choice. If I only had to live with one small other good, it would be this one. The fifth category is a handbag, and I would um, choose my... This is really hard, really hard, because there's a number of handbags that I absolutely love. If you don't know already, I love my Trendy CC, but it's in green and I would have, if I only wanted one, then I'd want a black handbag, okay? So that's why I didn't choose that one, but I love the Trendy CC. So I chose the classic medium flap from Chanel. Reason being is because the price of this is always going up, so I might as well just keep this one. <laughs> um, it is dressy. I can wear this on my shoulder. I can wear it crossbody. So my camera battery died, so, you know, it's a couple of hours later, so I'm finishing off my last point. But anyway, this bag I can easily wear on my shoulder, I can wear it as a single strap on my shoulder, I can even wear this crossbody. Um, I'm 5'6", I'm not very petite, but I can wear it as a very short crossbody, provided I'm not wearing like a lot of bulky clothing, so that can definitely be doable. Um, and uh, this goes from day to evening really easily, and it's it's a classic, right? I mean, it's, it stands the test of time. This is the, It's a reason why it, this is one of the most coveted bags. So. I'm going to say that this is the one from my collection that I'm going to pick. I do have other classic medium flaps, but they're in kind of like a seasonal variation. I have a limited edition version, and I was thinking maybe that too. But this is black at the end of the day, and it's going to go with everything. So, you know, it'll be dressy, it could be casual. So this is ultimately the one out of my collection that I would pick one of, okay? Um, so definitely a, a great bag. Obviously, I mean, it's... It is what it is, right? I mean, it, we all know this is a great bag, so I'm going to pick it out of my whole collection. I'm very lucky and blessed to have this. Um, the, I'm going to take it up a notch, and I'm going to include a sixth category. I don't know if we're allowed to customize the tag, but um, luxury fragrance, okay, or one of your fragrances. So for this, I am going to choose the Maison Francis Cook Jean. Uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. This is an amazing scent. I get so many compliments on it. It's unisex, uh, bougie AF. Very pricey. It is very pricey for what it is. There is lots of dupes on the market. You do not need this exact perfume. I'm sure if you YouTube it, you'll find people who give you dupes of this fragrance. It's hella pricey, but if this is one that I'm going to keep out of my whole collection. It would be this one. So that's my sixth category. Sorry if I sorry if I botched the tag. <laughs> okay guys, so if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and also tap the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. That way then you're the first to know. I always activate the bell notification for the YouTubers that I like to watch, so it's nice when I get the notification and I can plan my day and you know sort of plan when I'm going to watch their video or I'll just go and quickly make myself a cup of coffee or tea and I'll sit down and take a break from work. So 
just saying. <laughs> There's loads more videos coming up. Uh, these tags are a lot of fun. It's a w great way to get to know other people online and it's a great way to kind of get a sneak peek into their collection. So I really like this tag. Let me know in the comment section down below your pick from the five categories. I'd really, really love to know. So put those uh, comments down in the comment section. And I tag, I'm gonna tag a few of you in the comments, uh, in the description box, but I pretty much tag everybody, whether you have a channel or not. So let me know what your pick is from the five categories. I will see you next time. Bye.